Let's draw a treehouse. Hi, I'm Mr. St. Amant, and we're going to draw a treehouse. So let's get started. This uh, treehouse will be drawn from a picture I found online of a tree house that has the tree growing right through it. So I thought it was pretty interesting. And uh, this video wouldn't exist without the failure of my Zoom classroom yesterday. Uh, I was supposed to show this to my sixth graders. And uh, yeah, the Zoom failed. Uh, I think it's because my laptop is really old. And so um, here we are. So I'm making this video. I'd like to give a shout out to my uh, sixth period sixth graders. So this video is for them, but you can enjoy it too, of course. So you can see I'm drawing this cubic shape around the tree and it has like an A-frame style typical roof. And you notice there, right at the top of the roof there, that's where the tree will be. Um, the cut around is, is, allows the tree to grow through it. And I added a branch. In the original photo of this actual tree house, there isn't a branch, but I wanted to remind people that this is an actual tree and not a telephone pole. And then there are some uh, planks of wood at the base of the roof. And then there are four posts, pretty substantial posts at the corners of this house. It kind of gives it a, a classical architectural style. You'll see later. Um, speaking of tree houses, I have a tree and actually the tree in the, in the beginning of this video where I was climbing it, searching for, <laughs> I don't know what I was searching for, uh, but that tree is my, uh, my sons have been always asking me, dad, can you just build a tree house in this tree? And I thought about it and I, I've built a little fort with them and I wanted to test it out because when I was a kid, my dad built me a fort in our backyard and he spent months on this amazing two-story fort. And when it was done, we played in it maybe for a couple weeks and then sporadically, you know, here and there, and then we outgrew it. And so for all the work he put into it, it was looking back, it's really sad that he, uh, we didn't really enjoy it as much as we should have. So I tested um, my son's interest in, in you know, uh, hand-built structures. So we built a little lean-to, um, and it was designed to fit in between our bamboo uh, strands, or our bamboo clusters, and we called it the bamboo base. And they helped me build it. It took about a day building it. And sure enough, they used it maybe three or four times in some Nerf battles, and maybe when they wanted to hide out and draw. And then that's it. It's, it still sits out there in the backyard to this day, unused and forgotten. So I tell them, well, I built you a base, and you don't use it. So, I don't know. Anyway, so this treehouse is, uh, you can see how those posts also frame the door. And then there's a window. It's kind of uh, recessed into the facade of this treehouse. And because it's a real house, I would love to figure out, I'd love to go on a tour of, of this one. It looks like it's adult scale, like, you know, people can actually spend the night in it. I wonder if it's like an Airbnb or something. But I'd love to just check out how they were able to um, create rooms in such a small structure wrapped around a tree. So here's the walkway. It's a little drawbridge or a rope bridge. And it goes in the photo. Um, it doesn't go quite into any structure that I could see. It just goes off camera. And then these are the railings. So the railing is made out of rope. And then it's held up by two posts right about in the middle of this bridge right there. And then I'm going to make these diagonal um, slats in the bridge, and that will tell us where the next post goes to hold that rope together. And um, I'm just gonna solidify that a bit more. You'll notice progressively, this drawing starts to get more and more smudged because I was not wearing my drawing glove. I'll put it on later. So I'm just drawing some uh, zigzag ropes to the handrails back to the slats of wood, trying to match the same on the other side. And then 
we'll go ahead and uh, work on this area. So there's that another post. And you see a little bit of the side because uh, the front wall is recessed. And here is the deck. I thought this was a cool feature to have a deck on a treehouse. And of course, you, you how could you not, right? You have to enjoy the view. And then I'm going to add a hummingbird feeder because I love hummingbirds. We have two feeders in our backyard. And um, it's just fun to watch them with their aerial battles. They're so, they're so, um, aggressive and even though they're tiny little birds they're so territorial you know it's fun to watch all right another post that's going to divide these two windows might as well have a lot of windows if you have a tree house because there isn't i can't imagine there being a bad view on something like this you're just surrounded by trees and forests and birds All right, I'm going to add a little moon shape because um, the theme of the reason why I'm, I'm doing this house is because my sixth graders are working on a project where they design a wizard and they have to create a wizard's house. And I thought, well, let's make it a little more magical looking, more eclectic or you know, mysterious by adding a moon symbol. That's, so that's one of the differences, that and the bird feeder plus the roof, and you'll see uh, that later. Um, those are the differences from the photo that I found. It's always a good idea to alter your resources. Um, one reason is to, you know, not just completely copy exactly what, what you found and then claim it as yours. Uh, but it's good to just, you know, try to alter a design to give it the style that you're looking for. Like I, this is not a, ma a wizard's treehouse in real life, um, so I just made it. I probably could have made it more magical looking. I could have like amped it up a bit more. And then here's where I add roof tiles. Now on the original, the photo, they just have, I think it's like a, an asphalt roof. It has just the flat shingles. This is a little bit more fantasy because these types of tiles are very heavy. So to have this much weight in a treehouse is probably not practical. All right, you can see that I'm segmenting all of these tiles by double lines. And you see how I drew the, the bottom one first, and then I'm drawing up, so that each one overlaps the one before it. I'm put some uh, solid lines there. And here's where, okay, this is my drawing glove. Really good for drawing digitally, if you have to draw on an iPad or on a, on a tablet. But it also works for not smudging on paper as much too, and it helps your hand glide a bit easier. So I'm just quickly getting through the tedium of the roof tiles. It's actually kind of meditative though. You're just able to draw something over and over again. You, you have it, you're, you're getting it right. You know, there's no real thinking involved. It's kind of nice to just do a drawing like that where you're drawing a pattern repeatedly. Actually, these tiles probably could be made out of bamboo. If I were to build a treehouse like this, I would probably use something light like bamboo. I wonder if that's possible. I guess it'd have to be perfectly sized and carved to work. Now as I go back, you'll see I kind of mess up right there. I was trying to rush and um, I'm just trying to make it less detailed. There's a risk in overly rendering a drawing. Um, you know, it's about focusing on the, um, the most eye-catching parts, the most important parts, and the rest you can kind of soften up a little bit or, you know, pump the brakes on the detail. But I am going over that because my hand smeared everything, just obliterated those lines. Uh, the pencil I'm using is a Tombow, uh, very soft lead, so it, it does smear easily. So you can see right there, I'm just kind of, you know, giving it a once over really quick to show the texture, not too much detail back there, a little bit of atmospheric perspective, not too, I mean a little bit, I could, I could have added more, I could have made it fade out more. And then one row of tiles on that side. We'll establish the branch and that's it. 